Hey guys, I just finished installing the intercooler on my 1986 300ZX Turbo and since I have everything apart, I figured I'd just give you guys a quick walkthrough. Um, the core I used is 18 and a half by 9 and a quarter by 2 and 3 quarter and the inlet outlet is 2 and a quarter. Um, it's, some of you might think it's pretty small, but I have modest horsepower goals. So, obviously, you'd, if you want a bigger one, you'd get a bigger one. Um, this one's actually pretty decent size, though. If you look at my three-row radiator, it's about as thick as it. So, and that'll definitely work for me. Um, I use these steel slotted flat bars here to mount it. And you can just get a long bar from the hardware store. and It's like four bucks or something. Just cut and bend. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now I have my intercooler angled, and it's got to be angled quite a bit, otherwise the bumper will hit it. So it's definitely a good idea to test fit the bumper when you think you have the intercooler mounted pretty good. I thought I did the first time I tried this, and it actually was out too far, so I had to redo everything all over again. Now for intercooler piping, I'm just using a universal kit that CX Racing makes. Got it off of eBay, it's like a hundred bucks. And it's actually pretty decent quality. The piping that comes with it, it's actually pretty thick. You can see here. And it comes with a bunch of those blue silicone couplers. And these clamps here. And these are actually really good, surprisingly. Um, there, there are some things I had to buy extra. I had to buy um, a few reducers. And there's also an option to get the blow off valve but my dumbass didn't get it, so I installed everything without it, and you don't really need the blow-off valve, but it's a very good idea to get it. So, but, you know, I opted to do it, and if I have any issues, I'll go ahead and install it. But, yeah, let's go through this, and uh, let's start with the hot side. So, the hot side here, I have the stock turbo, and immediately from the stock turbo, I have a 90-degree silicone elbow here and this is reduced so it goes from two and a quarter inch down to two inch and that's connected to a 60 degree pipe here and that just goes right out into the fender well now I did have to cut a couple holes there as you can see and then there's on the other side as well and that's kinda of one of the downsides of having a side to side intercooler but yeah it works so go down here and there's that section there now I got a little fancy right there I didn't actually have to do this but you know I didn't want to wait around so I just cut some pipe up and fitted it um, you could have I could have easily used a 60 degree silicone elbow and that would have been I would I could have called it a day with that but like I said, I didn't want to wait anymore because I'd have been, already been waiting for a while. Now that's connected to a 90 degree bend. 90 degree bend here and then go straight to the intercooler. And that's all there is to it. Now there might be concern that the wheel will hit it, but it actually has about a couple inches before it hits it at full lock, so that's nice. Now, let's go on over to the cold side. Yeah, the cold side, I got a little lazy, and I'll show you why in a sec. But this is a 90 degree bend there, and that's connected to a 90 degree silicone elbow, as you can see there, and then right, right through the hole there. And got a straight pipe here. Now this straight pipe is actually a little too long. I could probably cut it, maybe about about two inches, two, three inches, and it'll fit a little bit better, but again, I'm, I was lazy and don't feel like doing that. And there's another straight pipe there, and then to a silicone 90 degree elbow, and then to a 60 degree bend, and then to the throttle body. Now the throttle body uh, diameter is two and three quarters, so you have to get a reducer. So I got a two and three quarter to two and a quarter reducer there and that worked out perfectly fine and that's that's it that's all there is to it now a few notes there if you're gonna use 
you're going to do this, then I definitely recommend getting the blow-off valve. And in order to cut the holes, just get one of these babies. I think it's like 14 or 15 bucks at Lowe's. And if you can, use an 18-volt drill. I used a 12-volt drill, and it had a hard time hanging with this project. It ran out of juice a lot, and it was kind of a pain in the ass because I had to run out of juice. I'd have to charge it, and then it'd run out of juice again pretty quick. So definitely get that 18 volt. And if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't. I'd go with the same side intercooler, uh, same side in inlet outlet, and that way you only have to do one hole there, and then you can just do another, another uh, some piping that goes just around there and straight to the throttle body. It's less piping, and it's a little bit more on the more expensive side, but. Uh, the reason I did this is because it was cheap and it'll be, it'll definitely work because it's really hot out here and it's, and I detonate from time to time and it, and it sucks. But I think total spent probably about 250 bucks for this setup and yeah, that's, that's it. It's going to work. So yeah, good stuff.